gosh, is this your new apartment? It looks so good. But, girl, I can't believe my best friend left me to move all the way to New York for college just because she's smart. Like, come on. FaceTime me back once a week at least. I begged for this. Hey, did you hear back from Cornell yet? I mean, there's no way they won't take you, right? Yeah, actually, acceptances came out, I think, two days ago. I did get in, and I got into Cornell. I am so excited, and they also gave me a scholarship. It's, like, half, so not the full amount. It's still pretty expensive, but I'm really excited to go. What? Oh, my gosh, you're telling me my bestie is going to Cornell? Like, girl, you deserve it. I'm so happy. Uh, I, I, girl, <laughs> That's amazing news. I wish I could be there with you, though. I'm stuck going to this stupid college in my hometown. Well, our hometown. I guess I, you could have a fresh start. You might as well say you're from Miami or something, right? Girl, you're literally the star of our volleyball team, okay? Like, you could get in easily, I swear. I know, I know, and I'd love to join you, okay, Eva? It's just... I don't know. I want to stay here a few extra years or something. Just to check it out and then maybe in a year or two we can be senior buddies together i wish but now i am in fact very very broke i used all of my savings on this month's rent alone i did not know it was going to be this expensive okay yeah that is a little bit dumb it's super expensive don't know what you were expecting honestly but ava listen if anyone could survive new york city it's you are you forgetting that you literally ranked in the top 10 smartest students in the entire midwest okay like yeah i'm sure you're right i mean <laughs> being broke in new york city is so much fun i won't have to eat off the floor like a freaking rat well that's not a problem you already look like no i'm just kidding i'm just kidding girl calm down okay like if you really need it i will fly out there to help you but i swear you got this under control okay you're right you're right i'm sorry it's 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 so many students do this every year, right? It's no different for me, right? Well, I have some unpacking to do, but I'll catch up with you later. I'll let you know how things are going, okay? Hey, love you, girly. You got this, okay? I'm one call away, and I will fly over there to save my bestie if she needs it. Like, I swear. Just call me, and I'm down. Alexa, raise volume ten times. Continuing to play the station, Top Pop, on Spotify. Emma was right. I mean, maybe I can survive New York City on my own. I was ranked one of the top students in our general area, but that doesn't necessarily transfer over to everyday skills like ordering coffee. There's no multiple choice questions when it comes to that, okay? And But the only real reason I survived high school was because she was my friend. Being honest, people didn't look at me at school. Emma was the one they looked at, and for good reason too. I mean, do you see her? However, it has always been my dream to attend an Ivy, and I mean, I might as well just leave everything behind and kind of reinvent myself, right? That's what people say they do at college anyways, I think. FaceTime me again. Girl, I literally told her I'd catch up with her in two minutes. What? Who is texting?
texting me at 11 p.m. You've been chosen to attend Akron Rise on Insta. No way. No, <laughs> there is no way. EHI is known worldwide as the one school for anyone rich and famous. Now, I'm talking your mom has to be Bella Hadid or someone. Like, I don't even know. They don't even open applications to the general public at all. Like, you get chosen. The school has to choose you to attend, and it's very, very hard to get into. Did I ever imagine in a million years that I'd have the chance to attend this university? No. <laughs> now, am I really intrigued by this text and really want to reply yes to it? Also, yes, but it has always been my dream to go to Cornell, and I did get a half scholarship, which is a really, really good deal. I mean, it's Cornell. But at the same time, this school is just, if not even more stitches, just by the fact it's so hard to get into. And the academics there are really, really good too. I mean, they have to be if you're paying that much to go there. This opportunity is literally once in a lifetime. It's like winning the lottery. They didn't even say they were accepting students, so I am a little bit concerned it's a scam. In hindsight, this really sounds like a scam. But rose-colored glasses really be doing their thing. Uh, I really want to say okay you know what if it's a scam the worst that can happen is I just get more scam texts it's not like I'm giving them my entire credit card or bank account right saying yes is literally I do that all the time for free <laughs> okay you know what let me just say yes you know let's let's do it I never do anything this ambitious I never reply to scam but okay you know what let's just say yes yes I mean, surprisingly, the caller ID does check out. I looked up on their university website and it is the right number. So I'm guessing it's right. And if everything's free, oh, I'll take it. Okay, um, let's do it. Yes, okay. Or maybe now? Maybe now? Maybe now? Okay, literally nothing happened. I guess I was expecting Whatever, it's not the end of the world. I mean, I'm still going to Grinnell, right? It's not a big deal. I'll just tell them I accept their acceptance tomorrow. I'm way too tired for this right now. Need to hear it come from you, or I don't sleep. I spend my free time wishing I was different. No identities and no beginnings. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I become so desperate When did I become so insecure? I hate myself so you can love me more When did I become so desperate? Oh. Break the mirror on my bed Alexa, stop music and good night Turning off top pop good night, Ava It's already morning. Already? Really? <gasps> I guess I might as well go check if they replied, but I doubt it. I know I shouldn't have gotten my hopes up for nothing, but at least it was fun to try. I mean, what did I expect? They are only for celebrities, and I'm far from it. I mean, I guess I should update Emma on what's going on. She did say she wanted updates, so let's see if she's even awake, that is. Hey girl, nice seeing you. How did you sleep in your new apartment? Tell me everything. Did you accept your acceptance to Cornell yet? I mean, what's going on with that? Oh, you're up early. That's a first. Don't you normally sleep in until like noon or something? Yeah, I mean, I used to, but ever since you moved to New York, I've been kind of bored. So I decided to wake up a little bit earlier. And... Oh my gosh, Emma, is this your friend? Literally introduce me. I mean, who are you talking to right now? Is that? Taylor, yes. Uh... Taylor, this is Ava. Ava, Taylor. Wait, you mean- Taylor, can you go buy me a drink real quick? Um, sure, that's what we came here for anyways. What do you want? 
I'm getting a venti mocha. Yeah, get me a vanilla latte with oat milk, please. Yeah, sure, of course. I got you. Emma, I thought you said Taylor was bullying you all throughout high school. Why are you friends with her? I mean, do you not remember the time she literally stuck gum in your hair so you had to cut it out with scissors? Yeah, I do. I do. It's not that, okay? I mean... It's been a long while since high school. We, we've had an entire summer and you weren't here, Ava. So I guess people change. So I gave her a second chance, okay? I mean, she joined the volleyball team and one thing led to another and we just started hanging out. And I mean, it's not like you didn't change either, Ava. Ever since you got accepted into Cornell a couple weeks ago, you just haven't been replying to my calls or anything. I mean, you used to reply every single day and you aren't even at the school yet. That's because I've been busy. I've been unpacking and everything. I mean, do you not see what a mess my life is right Right now yeah and that's just it Ava it's always about your life it's never about mine I mean when was the last time you asked me about my day okay I mean come on people change and you've got to accept that Taylor is a cool person you'd know that if you just listen to other people for one second okay come on I mean seriously grow up the world does not revolve around you anymore I mean, sorry for looking out for my best friend. I want to make sure she has your best intentions in mind. Is that so mean of me? No, but that's not what I meant. See, you're not listening. What's going on? Are you okay, Emma? Here, I brought your drink. <clears throat> yeah, um, sorry. It's nothing. I wasn't talking to anyone. Let me just... Bye, Ava. Whoa, wait, wait. Oh. Oh. That doesn't even make sense! What is she thinking? Oh my god, what? No, I mean, sure that happens, but not that suddenly. Okay, this could not be happening at a worse time. Who is it? I know no one in New York. Almost there! Almost there! Uh, hello? Do I know you guys? Why are you at my apartment? Oh, sweetie, it's always so cute when they're clueless, don't you think, Travis? <laughs> don't you? Oh, look at your apartment. Ooh, very nice for someone of your status. Anyways, we're here. My Wait, no. In. I mean, I guess not. Well, uh, I guess I should explain myself a little bit. This here is Travis. Meg is here as well. She is coming very soon. <laughs> She's always a little late. And I am Cecilia. Anyways, we are your professional team. We're basically your best friends you paid for. <laughs> Anyways, um, where is Meg? She really should be here by now. Do I need to call her again? Ah, Meg, right on time, as always. Early on the dot, yes. Wait, what? That literally explains nothing. Why are you in my house right now? I didn't hire you guys. You must have the wrong address. Oh, sweetie, trust us. We don't. Um, Meg has never really been good at explaining things so i'll take it from here basically you remember that text from yesterday about the echo institute of design and technology well congratulations you got in wait what really you what that makes no sense i'm literally not a celebrity nor am i rich why did you guys randomly text me i thought that was a scam yeah most people do bad planning on the university's part actually you know did you read the fine print on what you signed earlier because you have to for privacy reasons we're going to give you a celebrity backstory your parents are rich and famous or whatever anyways we don't know the details you'll get it once you get to the school we do not know we are simply your team here to help get you ready for the school year and of course help you throughout the school year with social media keeping an online presence shopping <laughs> clearly and just make it believable that you belong at the school all right any questions no by the way in the fine print that you signed it said by law we are required to give you a makeover whether you like it or not regarding our expertise and let me tell you something those eyebrows are the first thing that's going to be leaving you today honey what 
I happen to like my eyebrows very much, thank you. And I did not agree to a makeover or whatever. I just said yes to agree to go to a school where everything's for free. Actually, you did accept the terms and conditions when you replied yes to that text that the school sent out. But don't worry, it'll be fun. I mean, we just need to make you basically unrecognizable because we don't want anyone to catch on. But again, we can't talk about that. Only your counselor can. And once you get to the school though, you do have a team for like nails, schedule you have someone that will take care of your personal shopping me <laughs> i happen to love my job so you will love it too i promise you i will pick you out the best outfits for you to fit in there and yeah, basically you'll get a whole new personality to take on as well so you're unrecognizable even further guys sorry to break the little conversation but we only have two hours to get her ready for the first day of school begins and again we don't want the other students catching suspicion all right so hurry up come on to the mall we go right now we need you a whole new wardrobe stat new hair uh, definitely new eyebrows i can't even look at those things and leave everything here all right trust us it's better if you leave this here Ugh. uh i mean um what follow, follow me. us it's been a day stressing out like crazy just wanna be lazy with my girls it's been a day we gonna get wavy Layer on some diamonds and some pearls Maybe we could go to the mall Get our nails done Get our hair done, we fly Maybe we could holler at the boys Looking so good Just so when they walk by Cause we know what they want But we just laugh <laughs> Yeah, we won't let them get away with that We walk tall, our heads held high Cause we so motherfuckers can fly at yeah. wings of gold We touch the sky That ditches you we die We so fly settling in but here we are uh how are you not cold it's quite literally sub-zero out here oh honey we've been over this anything for fashion you know i have to upkeep my look but you're right it is kind of cold so if we could hurry this up please i'm getting chillier with every single word you speak plus it's like we're running 15 minutes late and the school is not gonna be happy with that but she needed a lot of work, okay? <laughs> Being honest, she needed a lot of work. So, this is what Echo Institute looks like? Um, excuse me, why do we not hear more about this school? It literally looks like a castle. Oh my gosh, wait, guys, wait, is that literally Ellie Fernandez right there? Do you, she has 50 million subscribers, what is she doing? Uh, oh. Ava, you might want oh to- Oh 
my gosh stop stop right now do you see that that's literally lizzie her mom played evangeline in forbidden choice i mean that's literally like my favorite series of all time and she's so much more pretty than the news media ava, says i mean ava. do you see her there she literally ava. looks like a goddess <laughs> ava did you not read the fine print? See, this is why we can't bring new students. Ugh. Anyways, in the fine print, you're not supposed to fangirl, okay? You're supposed to fit in here and blend in specifically. And that means not fangirling over everyone you see, all right? Now, we are 15 minutes late, as I've said before, so let's go. Hurry up. Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> that, that's no problem. I mean, she's... Who? Exactly. I'm... Yeah, um... Yeah, I'm fine. I mean, I'm supposed to be here, right? I got accepted, so I, I, we're on the same level. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, sweetie, we appreciate the acting, but could you maybe try a little bit harder? At least don't voice your thoughts out in the open. <laughs> I mean, we wouldn't want anyone catching on before you even got into the school, right? Cool as can be. I mean, cool, that's me. Right. So anyways, when we walk into the school, your counselor is going to meet up with you. But remember, everyone here is super busy. And you know the saying, time is money, especially here. So number one rule, just don't waste your counselor's time and you should be fine. Wait, I should be fine. Don't you mean I am 100% and totally completely fine no matter under any circumstance or whatsoever happens? Okay, rule number two, act normal, okay? At least as normal as you can. Or just don't say anything, even better. I mean, yeah, just stick with that. Now, how many times do I have to say it? Come on, let's go. What? This, oh, what is this campus like? But where is everyone? Shouldn't there be more students or something? Uh... It does look like we are a little bit later, so you might want to hurry up and meet with your counselor right now since everyone's probably already moving into their dorms and you wouldn't want to be too far behind. Hey, it's not our fault she's late, okay? She did need a lot of work to fit in here. Not that you looked bad before or anything. It's just not very celebrity-esque, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Anyways. Yeah, I don't really get that. Didn't I get accepted here on my own volition anyways? Yeah, you did, but your counselor will explain that. Anyways, we need to go coordinate with the rest of your team and start getting your dorm room set up, your skincare routine planned, your makeup planned, your outfits planned. We have a lot on our plates, okay? Now, you don't want to be any later. Hurry up. Right, right, right. Wish me luck. Well, in theater, I like to say break a leg, so break a leg. Oh, I think we got a work cut out for us this year. Yeah, that we definitely do. Oh, hello. You must be Ava. Come this way. We're going to have our meeting in my office back here. Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah, I am Ava. Nice to meet you, too. Well, I take it you met Meg and Cecilia. I know they can be a little bit of a handful sometimes, but you do look great. Now, my office is right over here. We do have some pretty important details to discuss before you begin your time here at Echo High. So, please, after you. Yeah, I mean... Thanks, yeah. Wow, I mean, just wow. <laughs> this place never ceases to amaze me. Every room I see is like way more grand than the last. How is that even possible? I'm very glad to see you're enjoying our campus so far. And I promise, promise it gets better than this. Just wait until you see your dorm. And my personal favorite is the locker courtyard. You'll just have to wait and see. Anyways, before we begin with our session, could I get you anything? Alkaline water, oxygenated water gold infused water i mean the options are really limitless here yeah thanks just pick me out anything i'll be fine with anything really that's really fancy <sighs> oh my goodness i am literally in the echo institute right now i have never seen the inside of this place it is under so much surveillance and security all the time obviously i mean for obvious reasons but still 
ta-da! Okay, I'm back. This is strawberry infused water. Of course, not just any strawberries, but they are specifically strawberries from Japan, aka in English for translation reasons known as beautiful princess strawberries. They cost like $350 a piece. I'm sure you'll love it. $350? Why would someone make that? It actually has a lot of health benefits. And I mean, here at Echo, we want to make sure that our students are performing at top capacity at all times. And of course, they're great for your skin. I mean, just look at mine. This literally tastes amazing. It doesn't even taste like a regular strawberry at all. I know, and we have so much more where that came from. Anyways, back to business. Is that my schedule? I mean, I knew classes were intense here, but not that intense. Oh, this? No, sweetie, this is your new life. <laughs> You're so funny. My new what? Well, as you know, Echo Institute doesn't accept just anyone. We only accept the most famous or rich people on the planet, basically. And I mean, despite being a very prestigious and very hardworking and effortful school to get into, our students' top priority is not necessarily academics, as you know, they're very successful and have other things to deal with too. I am a little bit ashamed to admit we are struggling grade point average wise, if you know what I mean. And competition with the Ivies have been getting harder with each passing year. I mean, compared to Brown, Columbia, Harvard, Yale, their grade point averages are starting to get even higher than ours, and the competition is only growing as the years progress. Yeah, but I mean, isn't Echo considered an Ivy too? And what does this have to do with me? You, Ava, were deemed one of the highest academic achievers in your entire region. That is why we want you, Ava. You can help the school stay and keep its Ivy status. And we could be right alongside Yale, Harvard, all the other schools for at least another 10 years. That is why you and 10 other students aren't necessarily rich or famous have been given the chance to join Echo free of any charge since we'd be more than happy to keep you here all you need to do is keep your 4.0 grade point average and we'll be more than happy to accommodate anything and all your needs here wait <laughs> let me get this straight isn't that fraud well <laughs> If you want to speak in terms of technicalities, Ava, then yes, legally that is fraud if we accepted Ava Jackson to the school. But we necessarily would not be accepting Ava Jackson to the school. We would be accepting Stella Smith to the school. Thus the makeover and why your team had to make you basically unrecognizable. Oh, so what about the other students? Who are they? Namely for privacy reasons, I am unable to disclose the names of any other students that underwent this change and got accepted to Echo Institute as well, since that would kind of undermine it. And we want to keep your guys' privacy and our privacy to hearts. If you have any further questions, we are out of time in this session, um, but it was nice chatting with you, Stella, and look over this entire transcript because we have written out your schedule, classes, beauty routine, makeup routine, meeting times with your team, itinerary, the, your new social media accounts, and by the way, make sure to stay off any of your old social media accounts. We will have someone on your team take care of communication with your outside family. But on this itinerary, we also listed your backstory. So remember, memorize your backstory. It is of utmost importance because Stella's parents are not Daniel and Avery, okay? Stella's parents are world-class famous actors and you must know their backstory as, as well. And Stella was also born not in the USA, but born in the UK and moved here at the age of 12. There's a lot of details to go over and just memorize that to heart. Uh, Any other questions? No. Uh, okay, Um. here's your dorm key. The room number is 444. What? And if you have any further questions, uh, feel free to reach out. You know, my email is always wait. there on the list. Um, but again, make sure you memorize all of that. Again, I cannot stress how important that is enough because if anyone finds out who you really are, we are going to have to terminate your stay here. And that means you have to move out of New York too. So anyways, <laughs> wait, move out. Wait, I never agreed to that. 
actually, you did. Did you not read the fine print when you replied yes to our text? Ugh, students these days. <laughs> You'll be fine. Okay, also, Stella is really into plants, so enjoy your dorm. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that bad. Thanks, I guess. Okay, I mean, I, I need the money anyways, and I could use the money that I won't spend on other things, so really it's a good thing, right? And Echo's great, yeah. Alright, this is room 444. Here goes nothing. Oh my gosh, is this my college dorm room? This is insane. It, what? Uh, oh my goodness, a fireplace in my dorm? How many shoes are there? <gasps> Finally, there's my roomie! Hi! It's so nice to meet you, and don't look so shocked. Yes, I know I spent $5,000 on that teddy bear, but he's so cute! I mean, do you see him? Anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm Harper, and you are- Oh, hi! <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm, uh, Stella. Yeah, Stella Smith. No, no, no. 